two in a row. Like he's that, he's that detailed and that focused on you know his craft and you know to see him have a night like this, especially when we needed it too. Like it's 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 great, you know. And he's he's that guy. And he's going to continue to be that guy uh, for us. But the biggest thing is just you know. Hard work, find, like when when hard, when opportun- hard work meets opportunity, man. Like it's just a beautiful thing to see, um, you know, for a guy like him. And he's gonna keep doing this. This is who he is. Okay. Spencer, this Cavs insider. How important is it? The last couple of games, you guys have gotten Ja going early mm-hmm. in the paint. But how is it, how important is it for the guys on the outside to get that paint presence established so you guys can do what you do after that? Yeah, because you know it's. It's different, you know. We have you know one big instead of two, you know. So now the spacing is different. So if we're able to create in the paint, get in the paint, Ja getting down there, even though you know some of the shots aren't didn't fall, you know, as they did the other night, just getting down there, and establishing that, you know, they have to collapse. Now guys are open for threes and being able to get better, um, better looks, you know, I think is the is the biggest thing. And you know that's that's how we started last game. That's how we started this game. You know, just trying to attack the paint, you know, make the defense collapse and uh, find the open man. EthanSandsCleveland.com. Donovan, do you feel like you can just flip a switch and score at any point against any team? Um, I don't want to disrespect the game and say just flip a switch. You know what I mean? I think there's, you still have to stay locked in, but I think there's a point where you kind of assess, you know, all right, like, you know, the second quarter, I got some shots that I won, I just missed. You know, the first quarter I started out well, and, you know, not really forcing it, just trying to find and figuring out how they're playing, figuring out where I can attack my gaps, um, and then going. You know, the last two games, it's been slow second, uh, slow first halves, and then kind of get get it going in the second half. But, you know, for me, just trying to pick my spots. You know, I think that's the biggest thing, and, you know, it's going to be a balance, you know, when obviously with having DG out, you know, you have to play that play that game. Um, and, you know, the biggest thing is, like, you know, my, my teammates make it easy on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a lot... Like I feel like it's 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 not nothing forced, you know what I mean? So it's understanding all right, this is how they're playing me, this is how they're guarding, this is open, this is not open, kind of manipulating the game and then when it's my time, you know, going from there. Isaac's also been in a new role in the mm-hmm. starting lineup. I mean, four offensive rebounds that were huge for you guys. How what have you seen from him in the past couple of games and especially tonight? Um, this is, you know, I think this is where Isaac will thrive. You know, I think um being able to play in that half row, be, you know, if they want to put a big on him, he's playing in the half row. Now he's able to create, you know, from the free throw line, he's able to get to the basket, be able to find guys and create. And also on the flip side, be able to get on the boards. You know, he's strong, he's aggressive. And obviously we know defensively what he brings, but, you know, to have six assists, seven rebounds, 11 points, like that's huge. Um, we're going to need that, you know, from him, especially with Ev out, you know, with two bigs. Uh, we only have one big out there, so he's he's big for us, man. And it's great to see him back and starting getting back into his flow. Uh, but that's, you know, I think that's where he's at his best. So, G, excuse me. Uh, last two games, uh, you guys are averaging 30 assists, 11 turnovers. What does that say about you guys taking over? Uh, the yeah, I think the, the biggest thing, like you said, it's going to be by committee. And it's going to be just myself. You know, last game, obviously, I had 13, but tonight I have six. Isaac has six. Ferd has five. You know, Craig has three. Sam has three. So it's just like it's going to be as a group. No one person can do what Darius Garland does. That's why he's special. That's why he is. So we all have to find ways, you know, to do it as a group. Um, and I think that just creates a lot of unpredictability within the team. You know, I think that that's, that's something that, you know, I said this the other day, like when you have your stars out, you know, you don't really know, you know, where, where the ball may be going, um, you know, and that's the case around the entire league. So um, just continue doing a great job as a group, you know, to make up for, for the guys that are out right now, and that's the biggest thing. Last two, Jackson and Chris. Uh, Jackson, flipping to right down Euclid. Uh, you played the entire second half mm-hmm. and most of overtime. Why was today's game so important for you to do that? Um, I just think it's time for us to start winning, um, to be honest. And I don't, I think for me, kind of putting myself out there, you know, I had some defensive lapses that kind of pissed me off, you know, but being there, being that leader and being the leader for the guys, and they trust me with that, you know, and I think coach trusts me with that. Everybody trusts me with that. And so for me, I told, told JB at uh, halftime, like, you know, I'm good to go the full, you know, the full second half and then overtime and, you know, not necessarily going out there just to try to score, you know, to go out there, but just sometimes it's go stand in the corner and they're not helping, you know, guys are up. So just my presence, you know, being able to, you know, the gravity that I create, understanding that throughout the game, whether it's on the ball, off the ball, um, you know, get in there trying to wreak havoc defensively, um, you know, and I think my teammates have my back with that. That's the biggest thing. That's dope. You know what I mean? Like going out there and, you know, saying that and having the full support, you know, of everybody, I think that's something that, you know, I, I really want to do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my teammates support it, my coaches support it. It's not going to be like that every night, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, a night like tonight, you know, gets a gutty team like this, um, you know, I feel like it was needed. And, yeah. Thanks. 
Donovan, going back to Sam real quick, um, he was talking about some of the guys that, that he's been talking to during this process of, of trying to stay locked in, stay ready, and how difficult it's been for him. Because he doesn't know if he's going to play, and he doesn't know when his minutes are going to come. What have your conversations been like with him uh, during this stretch to, to keep him? During this stretch or like the stretch where he hasn't played? The stretch where he hasn't played. Or um, you know, the biggest thing I tell him is, is – is, Sounds cliche, but stay ready. Like that, it sounds cliche, but those are the, it's just positive conversations. We see it in practice. Um, we've seen it since camp. Um, you know, we work on stuff and we're trying to get stops. We play good defense, and here he is hitting a shot the final second of, of something in practice. We got to do it again because he's making shots. You know, it's, 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 we laugh, but like that's just who he is. And I, I told him, like, just keep being you, like, keep going out there, keep working because the opportunity will come. You know, it's unfortunate it came like this where two guys are hurt, but at the end of the day, opportunities are there. And, you know, he's showing himself and showing what he can do. And uh, while we would all, we all know, you know, what he's capable of. So, you know, it's a, it's a tough thing. It's not easy, but it just speaks to his, you know, just his poise and his characteristics and his makeup, you know, to come out there in a game like this, be able to knock down threes. Um, I think he missed his first two and still shot him, you know, keep shooting. And also to go down in overtime on the break, be ready, spot up, shoot, knock it down. Like, you know, not getting in the lane, making plays, you know, getting in, in, in the paint. So that's 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 big time. You know, it's it's, it's not as easy as people may, may think to not know when your number is going to be called, but also to be ready. Okay, let's go wrap it down. Thanks, everybody. Good night.